I do, hey, I really do. HR Baker with MMA Madhouse, and I'm here with the show fight champ, Ross Campbell, man. Wow, dude. I mean, hey, you come out the first round. I mean, right off the bat, man, he clocks you, man, with a right. I mean, hey. Yeah. How hard was that clock, man? I mean, he caught me. I couldn't see anything, and I really don't remember the takedown. It just muscle memory came, uh, kicked in, and I ended up in my corner. And my quarterman kept me calm and talked me through it. And I mean, he landed a hard one, but put him down and you know let the let my subconscious do the work for me. Yeah. I guess. You think that uh, that would just happen to be luck that you went over to your corner <laughs> after that, and then they kind of got your sense back, man, and then well, you got your bearings back about well, you? Well, I, I, I don't call it luck. I call it skilled luck. I call it, yeah, I'm lucky in a lot of different things, and luck does have to do with it, but I've done it seven years, and usually when I get hit, I do something that's muscle memory related, so I think half of it was luck, I think half of it, my body just clicked and just did it by itself, you know? I'll tell you, and then, you know, after the first round, what, what was your corner man telling you before you come out the second round? They said, they were telling me that it was a grind. I remember looking over at Kenny, and I just knew that that guy's a grinder. The first time I looked at him, I was like, that guy is a tough mofo. And I just knew that it would have come easy. You know, I just knew that it was going to be some work. And uh, I really expected it to go all three. But, you know, I'd rather do my job, go home. You know, I, I'm more happy than that. I know the practitioner that you are, man. You, you kept your composure. Like, every time I see you fight, and I've seen you fight from the beginning, you know, your, your practitioner, it just keeps rising. I mean, you just keep getting better and better. Your skill levels are off the roof, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, so what, is this your last Amy fight, Ross? I've got, I've got one more. Um, I know that I'm ranked number two in the state of Missouri, and I told JT that I want to get 15 fights, and I want to be ranked number one, and I want to headhunt. I want to be like, I remember them telling stories about James Krause, how he was ranked one and 30 and 30 and one you know as an amateur like, as an amateur yeah and i just said to myself you know that's a big goal but you might as well aim big you know because if you say oh, i want to get five fights in that's not enough you know yeah. if you say i want to get 15 fights in that's not enough i want to be the best you know? I know you've always ever since i for forever you've always said you wanted to get at least 15 fights in mm -hmm. and that was i mean two three years four years ago yeah. and and uh, now you're there, and I mean, so what? What do you have an opponent picked out for your next um, one, or I mean, you gonna take a couple months off? Or uh, no, I'll probably honestly we're looking at August probably for my last amateur. There's a few guys have named, you know, I know up in Springfield, St. Louis, Buddy McGinnis is a horse. We've talked to him a little bit, so he's a possible guy. I've, I forgot the guy's name. But he's ranked number one. He's got uh, Dan Bush. I can't remember. I, I've but seen uh, anchors, Buddy McGinnis. Anchors. He's got like 30, 40 oh, yeah, amateur yeah, fights. Yeah. He's got like 40 some yeah. amateur fights. So he's yeah. very veteran. Yeah. Interested in that, you know? Because yeah. if you're not pushing yourself, then yeah. you're a fraud, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that'd be a tough fight. I, I can see, I can see you taking that fight and being a good tough uh -huh. fight for you. I mean, because I've been up there, and I've seen Buddy McGinnis. Yeah. He, he's a tough guy. Oh yeah, I've watched videos on him. And I just to have that many fights and that good of a record. You can't pat a record that much, you know. You got to be a good fighter. Exactly, you know? exactly. So, Ross, today, man, anybody want to thank you? Take his time, man. Uh, you give know, a shout out to. I always got to thank my Lord Jesus. Hey, Dennis. And God, <laughs> tomorrow's Father's Day, so if this video is supposed to tonight or tomorrow, give your dad a call. You know, he deserves it, even yeah. if. It's just bad blood between you, you know. Amen. I was lucky enough to have a great father, and, you know, but it's it's worth at least trying. Um, you know, and that ties into it's Sunday, so it's the big Father's Day as well. So let's never forget about that. My mom, of course, I can't ever forget my mom. My girlfriend, of course, she's the one in the past year or so. She's the one really taking the brunt of me, being a butt, cutting weight and stuff, and she lets me know it, and I deserve it, so it's okay. There you go. Uh, and then you know, all my teammates, you know, everyone, like I said, um, I want to keep getting better and better. Even if I'm not fighting, I just want to get better and better, you, you know, because life's about getting better. If you get complacent, then you're a failure, there in you my go. mind. Hey, man, so. always stay positive, man, and, and uh, you know, do right and stay strong. And That's all about. I mean, the Lord take care of you. Sure. Blessings always come when you least expect it. I know they have for me. Even, so. sure. Sure. Hey, Ross, congratulations, man. Enjoyed your performance, man. Can't wait to see what's next, man. All right, thank you, sir. You bet.